All right, so today we're going to be replacing the save game battery in a Game Boy cartridge. So the first thing you want to do is remove that screw from the back, and you're going to use what some people call a game key or a cartridge key. It's just a special security bit that fits into any screwdriver with exchangeable tips and um, works just like any other screw. You just remove it from the back. And then you flip over the cartridge and slide the top down and then lift it off and uh, there's the PCB and you can see the the big battery there um, that is a CR2025 battery and we're just gonna flip the board out there get you a nice beauty shot of the bottom of the board and uh, take another look at the top So I'm going to be using this little tool to leverage uh, the batteries up. So I'm going to very gently apply some leverage while I apply the soldering tip to the solder uh, on the existing pads. So I'm just taping down the PCB to my work surface. This is a temperature, uh, high temperature surface, so I'm not going to damage it. And taping down the board just helps hold everything in place. I don't have a fancy vise. So I'm, I'm uh, slipping that um, little tool under there and just very gently giving it some pressure, applying some heat and lifting up. And what actually happened here is there's a little, like, <laughs> I guess column of uh, solder there that's holding the, uh, the thing up. So uh, I just go ahead and go to the other side, heat it up, lift it, and then I kind of hold it while the solder solidifies again so it doesn't stick again. And now I'm just going to go and take care of that first side again. And now the battery's free. So I'm just going to set that there. I'm actually testing the voltage here, and you can see it's at 2.989. These are normally at like 3.1 volts when they're new. So it was still able to hold the save in the cartridge, but it was definitely time to replace it. So before you solder anything else on there, you're going to clean up all of the uh, flux and everything off the pads. Make sure they're clean. And there's a nice flat surface there so that you can uh, solder the new battery uh, onto those pads. And I'm just using isopropyl alcohol for this. So there's a plus and a minus sign on the board and those actually, they're copper and they actually co correspond to, um, the, they're electrically conductive. Uh, they also mark which polarity you're supposed to use. So the plus on the battery, that side goes to the plus on the board and the minus goes to the, the other pad. It's important that you get this polarity correct. Um, you could damage something on the board, although a lot of times um, they'll put some kind of protection in there to keep you from damaging the board. I actually, on a different <laughs> cartridge, I accidentally put the battery backwards um, in the beginning, and then I didn't turn it on or anything, but I flipped it around before I tried the cartridge out. I realized my mistake early enough. And because this is a surface mount component, you need to hold it in place while you uh, solder it on. So I just used some more electrical tape to do that. And I put a little bit of fresh solder on the tip of the soldering iron just to give a good thermal connection there. Touch it down and then wait for both components to heat up. Add a little bit of solder. And I actually, I was getting a little timid here. I didn't put enough solder down. So I, I go back for a second turn and I just kind of hold it there and make sure I heat both components enough so that I get a good connection. And then I just do the same thing on the other side. This time I actually gave it enough solder the first time. And that's it. The battery is soldered on now. So uh, what we're actually going to do is test. So I actually touch the, um, my multimeter to the plus and minus signs on the board so that I can verify that it, there's a voltage applied to the board. And that's important. Don't, you know, don't just test out the battery. Obviously you need to test the battery, but once you solder it to the board, you need to make sure that the connection from the battery is actually making it to the board. So, um, now I'm just removing the PCB from my work surface so that I can then clean the contacts. Since I, I have this out of the cartridge, I might as well do a, a good job cleaning here. Again, I'm just using isopropyl alcohol. I believe this is 90%, uh, and a, and a Q-tip. And uh, I'm just, I'm actually going both directions, across and also lengthwise uh, on the contacts. Lengthwise is important because that's the direction that all the scratches are. Um, when you insert and remove this cartridge over and over, 
um, you're creating grooves in the metal. And so going this direction means that you're cleaning out uh, all of those grooves. So just a good thing to do, even if you're not replacing the battery. Just take the cartridge apart real quick and uh, clean the contacts for real. So now um, it's putting the cartridge back together is very easy. You just drop the PCB in and you put the uh, top down and then slide it up and then uh, reinsert the screw. Now, what I like to do is actually put the screw in and just with the weight of the screwdriver, I turn it backwards a little bit until it pops downward. Uh, and then I know that I'm in the groove or in the thread of the screw. And then I make sure I don't torque it down too much because you don't want to damage the plastic threads. So it's always important to test out the cartridge after you use it. I can see that there are no save games on this cartridge, so I had to start a new game. And then uh, I save it. And then I am going to turn off the Game Boy and remove the cartridge because I, I just, you know, I want to make sure there's no like latent electricity, or, you know, from a capacitor or something holding that save in there. Turn it back on and then verify that I do, in fact, have a continue there and that I have a save game there. So that's it. That's how you replace the battery on a Game Boy cartridge.